Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while that I actually uh, record any uh, YouTube video for you. I apologize, I will get into my momentum. I prepare a wonderful content for you today because recently, right, you probably know for the last one week, Bitcoin actually dropped by close to one trillion dollar. That's a decent amount of money. It actually dropped from 3.5 trillion to actually 2.5 trillion. A total of about 30 to 40% wipe off in the market. And do you know what happened? There's basically two particular reasons. One reason is actually triggered by the China central banks. They actually issued um, a statement to say that they will actually stop all the transaction uh, about Bitcoin uh, in China itself. It means all the financial institutions in China will stop processing all the Bitcoin transaction. Uh, again, another great investor or another great personality, his name is Elon Musk. So he have also said that uh, he is Tesla is not going to implement the payment gateways for Bitcoin in the sense that future buyers of Tesla cars, they are not able to use Bitcoin to transact. I mean, purely because he actually starts saying that probably Bitcoin is actually not very good for the environment due to what? Basically a, a high consumption of uh, mining activity to get the coin out. Because as you know, uh, as you start mining all the Bitcoins, it is going to get harder because there is a, a limited supply of coins. Uh, but what triggered me to have this conversation again is because Last week, I mean, one particular day, uh, an, an investor of mine, his name is actually Rudy. At the age of 20, he told me that he actually lost about 8 grand uh, or close to 10k uh, sing dollar, which is a decent amount of money because, uh, I mean, just to give you some numbers, right? He, he lost a big chunk of his net worth, you know, due to Bitcoin. Uh, he is still holding the, to the position, but after he uh, have that conversation with me, he realized that he should not uh, do three things. First is never be formal, means never be fear to miss out on actions uh, that is in the market. And especially, he, according to him, is to not invest in hype. Uh, uh, actually, a few weeks ago or one month ago, he actually messaged me about it and I actually told him that this is not something that I would recommend you to do. Uh, but again, he did something against my advice. And thirdly, he said that don't invest or don't put money into things that you really do not understand. So to me, it was uh, it was really a hard pain. Uh, of course, I think lesson for him is at least for now, one thing to be thankful for is he made this mistake when he is young, he is at his 20s. He definitely have time, a lot of time to make back that 10K uh, uh, dollar that he potentially have lost. And uh, of course, people like you, I mean, if you are into Bitcoin and you lost a lot of money, and I would really love to help you, right? Uh, do DM me, do reach out to me after you watch this video. I would love to help you uh, to recover the losses. And this is something that I did for him also, right? So let me go straight to Bitcoin again. So just give you some, some understanding of Bitcoin, right? I'm going to insert a Bitcoin historical chart. Uh, over here. So I think this particular chart over here, if you look at it, you can see that uh, Bitcoin, since um, it first started about 10, 20 years ago, right, there is about 15 corrections. Uh, and if you look at the correction in terms of the, the price drop, right, three times is actually above 80%. So you think of it, if you are not able to invest a, an asset in this kind of category, in this kind of volatility, I will highly not suggest that you put your money there. Okay, even if you say Elvin, this is the this is a this is an asset that is forward looking, is something that we should be on board. Uh, but I can tell you there are other ways that you am on board into such an asset uh, instead of directly investing in it. Right? So out of three times 80% drop and out of the 15 correction, um, there is more, all of them is easily 30% drop. And there are certain years, right, there, there is like multiple correction in that particular year. So to me, it's, um, I, I warn you, you know, take this as a warning that I'm giving to you now. And even if you are looking at like uh, other, what we call by ICO, initial coin offering, something like uh, companies, you know, if you're looking at ICOs, uh, do a quick search, right, to, to search like what is the failure rate of all these ICO. You know, and most of the time it's about, uh, I, I actually search for you, I'm going to insert here, it's about 92%. So can you imagine 
every 10 coins that is happening in the in the market right nine is going to fail why is that so i mean purely because you need to understand that uh, bitcoin is purely a concept an idea right that people are using based on uh, uh what we call by blockchain technology and people are trying to create a lot of this uh, uh what we call utility like usage for this particular coin but again is uh, it is like any ipos out there it's a business you really need to evaluate whether this coin can be viable uh, and most of the time uh, like i said 10 out of nine coins uh, uh, out of the 10 coin, nine coins will really fail. So again, is yes, uh, this is a warning for you. You know, if you really want to put your money in there, uh, two suggestions: uh, don't put any money that you cannot afford to lose, right? And secondly, is there is an indirect approach to investing into Bitcoin. You know, if you like to know that, uh, I can share some ideas with you also. Then, lastly, right, I really want you to have these few questions, right, uh, in everything that you invest. Right. So whether an investment or, a, or anything that you are putting your money into, you know, over the long term, you need to understand that whether it's an asset and whether it is a suitable investment for you. So to me, right, um, I will not want to invest in anything that doesn't give me cash flow. Uh, why is that so? It's very simple. You are basically buying a, a full scheme. Means if I buy something and will there be another person that is willing to pay me at a higher price? That is what I call by a full scheme, right? And will there be any earnings and how is it exposed to the global environment, right? Partic this particular assets, right? And is there any way that you can diverse yourself? You know, in, in the Bitcoin space, people can tell you things like what, uh, buy the dip, you know, and then keep holding, do a lot of dollar cost averaging. Uh, those kind of concepts but you need to remember all those concepts are actually based on the stock market where there is uh, evidence right that companies can really perform uh, over a long period of time but bitcoin i don't know you know there are no companies or no big no no cryptocurrency at this moment is actually more than 20 years or even more than 30 years you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm not an expert in bitcoin you know, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but again, is you know, I prefer to put my money in assets that have proven year in, year out, you know, even in great crisis, even throughout the crisis, that there are companies that have outperformed, uh, not just outperformed the market, but also gave cash flow to me. So, again, is uh, please understand, you know, uh, how to really invest your money. So, this is a warning for you. Uh, do, do support me in my journey, like, follow, subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell for future videos. And if you really enjoyed this session, please forward this particular video out to your friends and your loved ones. Bye-bye.